the idea of finding your niche means finding what you really like and what other people enjoy watching on the platform. So that idea reigned for quite some time. So while everybody was getting onto the platform, say about five, 10 years ago, it then very quickly became obvious that um, they were doing the same thing and repeating it on their channels. But obviously, when the time came for YouTube to get monetized, those channels had ripened and therefore they were able to cash in. So if that's the road that you want to take, by all means, I have a few tips for you. Here are some ways that you can find your own unique YouTube niche. The first tip is that you want to think about what makes you smile. Just don't, just don't anything, everything that makes you happy, that makes your heart sing. Don't discount anything because you just never know. Nothing is trivial. Then tip number two is you need to check what's trending on YouTube. Yes, you need to do a little bit of research because um, if there are any topics on there that you like, that lots of people are watching, then maybe there's a hidden gem waiting for you to discover and you may want to sort of go down that rabbit hole. The third tip is that what are you, you need to ask yourself what you're good at. Yes, we even when you ask me, if you ask me a few months ago, I couldn't tell you what I'm good at. But we all go to work, we all live our lives, there are things that we do, no matter how silly they may seem, they we are really good at them. Uh, they probably come natural to us. And to some people, it's not natural. So that's what paying attention to. So it could be that you're great at fixing things or you know you're very quick to learn the latest dance moves. It doesn't matter what it is. Your own special skills could be probably a ticket to the niche that you that is just waiting for you, that is just right for you. So you want to think about that. What are you good at? Tip number four is that you now need to pay attention. You need, it's time to be a listener. You want to pay attention to what people are asking for. Is there something that they need help with? If you take a look at the YouTube channels that you watch, do you read the comments under those channels if they are of interest to you? Your niche could be the one that saves the day. Your niche could be the one that answers somebody else's question. Um, I found an idea, idea for this playlist um, YouTube over 40 from the comment section of a particular video. And I ran with it because I feel that I've always spoken to people in my own circle about it. I've got friends, I've got sisters, and I'm always encouraging them to start on YouTube. So I feel that that playlist is really really important. Tip number five is don't be shy to try new things. I started this playlist. Yes, I'm not being shy to try it. I may not be showing on camera, but I am here. Yes, I am here trying new things. Your niche might surprise you and even it will change over time. You will not remain the same. Um, finding your niche is like trying on different hats until you find that perfect fit, the one that really fits you. So the lesson from the tips that I've given you, finding your niche is like going on a treasure hunt. You just don't know what you're going to get because you're constantly shy. You're constantly searching for that shiny gem that is just uniquely you. And that leads me nicely on to uniquely you. Everything that you think about yourself, everything about you is unique. The way you grew up, the experiences you've had, the experiences you're having now, the type of person that you're having, you, you are now is unique to you. And so everything about you is unique. So why not share you? Just as you are, there is nothing wrong with you having several interests. There's nothing wrong with you having several passions. Why are you now on the hunt for other treasures? Why are you trying to be a copy when you're original? When do you have what you need inside of you? When I started my channel, I had no idea what my niche would be. I have been trying everything that interests me, hair, shopping vlogs, silent home vlogs, I've even done product reviews. Whenever I go out and I buy products for my hair, I would review what it felt like, what it made my hair feel like. And I was very happy with it. At a point in time, I was also, I grew my channel off of um, posting shorts of perfume, Lido perfumes, which happened to be dupes um, of designer perfumes. Because at that point in time, that was, that was what took my fancy. Now, how to grow on YouTube for over 40s? 
That's what I'm doing at the moment. That's what I'm interested in. That's what has brought you here. Whatever takes my fancy, I go with it. I have tried it and I continue to explore. And I know there are many more to come because human beings are like onions. We've got layers to us. So life is about being in a state of being. There is no way you can find you if you don't explore. So the more you explore, the more the parts will uncover for you. There is absolutely nothing wrong Um with you being you. There's nothing that beats the business of you. So in today's um, knowledge economy, which is where an economy where people are selling what they know, you, you, you would stand the test of time because you are you. Do you know that five people can read one book, the same book, one book, and they will all have different views or even take different lessons from it? That is the power of you being you. That's the unique power of you being you. For as long as they have different perspectives, there will always be need for your views. Yes, everybody works. We all have careers. We all have jobs. We run businesses. But people are prepared to listen to your view of it. What do you think about it? So why not create a niche of you? It is the most profitable. It's the most sustainable. It grows with you. It teaches you because you'll be amazed at how much you will learn and the skills you will gain. It displays your interest. Over time, you'll be able to look at it. It organically builds your community for you. You don't have to do much. With friends across the globe, across the world, um, across countries, people you probably will never meet, but they are always there for you, cheering you on. You will never run out of content ideas when you're going to a niche of you. Never. It's your life's work. It is your life's book to watch back, to read back. In fact, as a test, when next you have an event, a family event, a friend's um, wedding, a christening, a graduation, even if it's a birthday, take a video of it, capture it, and then upload it to YouTube privately. Share the link with your friends and family. It brings so much of a wonderful feeling that you can't describe. I've tried it, I've done it, and it's great. The niche of you is the most interesting niche on YouTube. That's why you see people vlogging. I have to, at this point in time, put in a caveat. The niche of you takes a while to grow, but eventually when it grows, it grows authenticity. It, It grows organically and it grows for the long term. You're not hunting around for, oh, um, what, what, what should my next video title be? Or what should my video be about? It's just about you. It's about everything that is happening to you. You're busy looking through your wardrobe, your kitchen. You're looking at life. As your perspective changes, you update your channel. It's your outlet to the world. Nobody is waiting to berate you about it. So, I always find the niche of you as the most interesting niche on YouTube, but maybe that is me. However, I know I'm not the only one. Anyway, that's my two cents on how to find your niche or your own unique YouTube niche rather. So until next time, just never stop being you.